friends. It is currently like 10 p.m. on a Saturday night and our activity of choice tonight is building some new furniture that we got. So first up, we have this bench that I just put together. Now we're putting together this entryway table that I got. I've been wanting to decorate this entryway for a very long time, but furniture is freaking expensive. I could not bring myself to buy a ton of furniture all at once. And so just been waiting like a year and a half to actually, you know, start furnishing this entryway, but I'm very excited. Come along. for the entryway at least this is the vision i also hung up as you guys saw this gold mirror that i've had in my closet for a very very long time if you guys have watched any of my old room makeover videos this is the og mirror from like way back in 2019 or 2020 she stayed with me throughout the years and honestly has just been in my closet since i moved to seattle and moved into this apartment i just didn't have a good place to put it around the apartment to be honest i've always wanted a large mirror in the entryway area so that you know you can check yourself out make sure everything is looking good before you head out the door so in terms of actually styling this entryway table the stuff that i ended up getting just came in the mail so let me show you first up we have this beautiful black irregular shaped vase i just really like the shape of it i think it's kind of funky if you guys have seen the rest of my apartment it's very neutral there's a lot of things that are beige brown and it's very light and warm and so i just wanted to introduce something a little bit cooler and darker tones so that I can kind of balance out the rest of the aesthetic. The second piece I got is this wooden chain knot. I think this is usually like a stone chain, but I kind of wanted to buy a wooden one so that it matches like the natural tones that I have around the apartment. I figured this would be cute somewhere on here as well. And then I also got a beautiful vase as well. I really like these like bubbly ruffles that it has. I figured this would look really cool with some like dried flowers. I have some baby's breath that I've had for the last few weeks or so and it's kind of drying out and I figured if I put that in here maybe it'll look really aesthetic and minimalist. I also got some coffee books. But there's a problem. When I had ordered these coffee books I thought they were all going to be like regular coffee book sizes and some of them are. Well basically this one is but then these other two are clearly a lot smaller and not really coffee table book size but that's okay. Basically what I was trying to do as I was shopping for stuff was try to buy books that are not just decorative pieces but books that I would actually read or you know guests who come over would actually be like oh that's an interesting book like let me take a look and at so it. So that was kind of hard to balance because I think some of the coffee books that are out there aren't always like the most readable. Anyway long story short these are the two books that I got. This one is The Little Book of Huga which is if you guys haven't heard of like Huga it's basically like a Danish word that resembles like comfort, well-being and and togetherness and it's not coziness because I know in this book they say it's not exactly coziness but was really interested in it and having gone to like Sweden this past summer I just thought it'd be a really good read it also looks pretty short too the next book I got is actually a coffee making book it's called the best coffee at home if you guys don't know I have an espresso machine and I've been making my own coffee for the last like year or so but I think I have still yet to pull the perfect espresso shot and so I'm hoping this book can teach me how. Lastly, we have this maps book. Honestly, I don't have anything to say for this except that it looked really cool and so I decided to get it. that's gonna get for now. I'm honestly not 100% satisfied with the decoration, but I made it work with the stuff that I have. And y'all have already seen this entryway bench being added, but it's finally in use. We started adding some of our shoes 
along the side. Thinking of adding in some kind of like shoe rack, I think it'd be nice to have a bit more storage for our shoes because right now they're just lined up. It's a bit of clutter. But the bench itself is actually really comfortable. I love the color too, again with my cream neutral tone. This is perfect. Maybe some artwork on this wall, like some nice, you know, prints. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. If you guys are interested in following along and watching this entryway transformation, definitely subscribe to the channel i'll be posting updates in the next few months or so as you can tell this is all work in progress on our way to go run some errands let's go shoe rack that I said that I was ordering in that previous clip a few minutes ago. I also got one more book to add to the table. It's the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. I've actually read this book before. Well, I have the audiobook version on Audible, but it's been like a year or two since I last read it. I wanted to read it in its physical form this time, take some notes. I feel like New Year is the best time to get a refresher on all of this and how to develop habits that will last. Also, not to mention that it is literally the perfect aesthetic for decor as well around the apartment. So win-win situation here. I might even just like put it here actually. pads that you can stick onto the bottom of these legs so it doesn't scrape the floor. So I'm going to do that real quick. Guys, we're conflicted. We don't know if, where to put the shoe rack. Does it look better over there? Over here? over there. I'm also planning on getting some like coat rack hooks as well that I want to put above the shoe rack or somewhere else. We're not sure. Comment down below what you guys think. If you have any ideas for anything for this entryway, I am very open to your opinions and your advice. And I think I'm going to close up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little mini entryway makeover that is still to be continued and so definitely subscribe if you're new here to follow along i hope you all had a wonderful start to your new year's I'm wishing you guys a lot of joy happiness peace good vibes and that 2023 is going to be your year thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye